Hi everyone, I'm Zeen and I work as a security engineer and in this video, I'll try and answer one of the most frequently asked questions which is, how can I become an ethical hacker? So let's explore. So internet is a very interesting place because there are hackers everywhere. So let me start with an experience story uh, that I had a month back. So one night I just decided that I'll just disable the security mechanisms on my personal website and see on how many hacking attempts uh, I can get in one night. So before sleeping, I just disabled uh, most of my security mechanism and I went to sleep. In the morning, uh, the first thing I did was uh, checked my logs and the hacking attempts that came to my server were really mind boggling. So within just one night, I had around 11,000 hacking related attempts on my website. And this is just a small website. If you talk about big websites, uh, you have actually have millions of hacking attempts that takes place every single day. This is why security field is not only challenging, but also very interesting. So this is one of the reasons why I also take workshops and seminars in various colleges across India. And one of the first questions that most of the students ask is, how can I become an ethical hacker? So the path is a bit unknown till now. So I'll try and explain on how you can actually make your career into the field of ethical hacking. So let's explore. So I'll minimize the presentation and I'll open our favorite OneNote, which we'll use for whiteboard. And let's make it full screen. So the first thing that I uh, really wanted to understand is in the industry, the term ethical hacker is not used because ethical hacker is a bit vague and you can say a bit negative word. So if you go in industry, uh, you have term called as security professional or security engineer. So I'll just write it down for you. So it will help. So you can say security professional. So if you go and look out for jobs in the description, you will not find that we are looking for ethical hackers. So it will be something like we are looking for security professionals. And in a way, both of thing, these things are same. So this is one thing that you should always remember. Now, if we talk about security, it is uh, broadly divided into three major fields. So one is uh, information security. So you have information security out here. Second is network security. And third is application security. So let's understand each of these three fields with an example. So let me go a bit down and let's take an example. So I have a computer out here. So I'll draw a computer. So my drawing is not really good. So bear with me on that. And inside this computer, I have my information. So this is my very important data. So let's say this is my credit card and bank related information, which is one of the most important data for me. So around my computer, generally I have a perimeter security. So, so I'll draw a perimeter just like a house has a fence. So computer ideally have a perimeter. So let's assume this is a firewall. This is a firewall. Now, the main function of firewall is to check who can come inside and who can come outside. So I'll draw who can come inside and who can go outside. So this is what basically firewall does. So let's say I have a friend. So my friend name is, uh, let's say Alice. And I want Alice to connect to my computer. So I tell to my firewall, so this is my firewall. So I tell to my firewall to allow, so allow Alice. Plus I'll also say deny all. 
So except Alice, do not allow anyone to connect to my computer. So my firewall will make sure that except Alice, no one is able to connect to my computer. Now there can always be some kind of a vulnerability in which, so let's assume this is a hacker. So there can be vulnerability in which hacker can actually bypass your security mechanism and connect to your laptop. So this is where information security comes into picture. So ideally if you see this particular data that you have is an information. So I write information over here and information security basically deals with how you can protect your information. So let's take an example again. So let's say you have a virus. So I'll draw one server. So this is let's say hacker server. This is hacker server. So generally what happens is whenever your computer gets infected with virus or trojans, the first thing that they do is upload all your critical data to the hackers server. So the goal of information security is to make sure that your computer, your uh, computer is not affected with viruses. So maybe it can, it deals with something related to antiviruses. You have antiviruses, you have anti-malware. You also have many things like encryption, which are used to protect your information. Network security on the other hand, deals with what information can come inside your computer and what information can go outside your computer. So let's assume your computer is infected with virus and now virus wants to upload all the data to the hacker server. So this is a hacker server and virus wants to upload all the data. So there is a perimeter here, right? So this perimeter has a rule which is deny all. So that means actually your computer will not your firewall will not allow anything to be uploaded over the internet. So even though maybe you have a Trojan which is infected, your network security is doing the job by protecting the data. So ideally in most of the antiviruses, the latest antiviruses, it comes with inbuilt firewall. So it is not only the information security, but antivirus also does the job of network security. Now there is third thing called as application security. Application security basically deals with how secure your website is. So it deals with secure coding practices on how actually you can code your website in a secure manner. Now one of the other things to also deal or also consider is information security can be classified into further more fields. So if I consider information security, it can uh, come classified into let's say mobile security. I'll say mobile sec. Mobile sec can further be classified maybe into Android security, iOS security and so on. Uh, this is one. Then second can come into Linux security. So there are specifically uh, professional who are good in Linux security, you can have Windows security and so many other things. Talking about network security, you can not only have firewall, but you also something have wireless security. So wireless security is basically protecting your Wi-Fi devices. So you have already seen there are so many Wi-Fi hacking that is taking place around. So you actually need to understand what uh, Wi-Fi security is. So network security can further be segmented into wireless security as well. So let's go down and understand on what you have to know if you want to become a good security professional. Now the first rule of thumb is, I'll write it down again. And this is one of the things that uh, mistakes that a lot of people do is don't try and learn everything. First thing is this is not going to happen 
instantly because a lot of people try to learn in information security network security as well as application security together and this is one of the mistakes that lot of students do and they go away from the security field so try and uh, stick with the basics and then slowly slowly come up so talking about basic uh, i would recommend you to start with linux because linux is one of the most important thing that you should be knowing if you want to become a good security professional without linux you can actually not uh, understand or grasp the true essence behind security second thing that i would recommend you to learn is networking again this is one of the most important core behind security so if you learn both of them then you can actually master the area of network security as well as information security again this is not uh, something that you can learn within 15 to 20 days it actually takes lot of time lot of practice and lot of experience as well the third thing is scripting or you can also say programming now many people ask on from which uh, programming language that they should start with i would recommend python python is one of the most awesome languages that has been built you can actually write your own key loggers with just few lines of python code now if you try to do that with c it will actually take you hundreds or 200 line of code in c so python is something which i would really recommend and if you go for a job in security one of the criteria other than linux and networking is good knowledge with python so you should always remember that so start with python it is a very simple and very interesting language but before you can actually start with python start with linux and start with networking now considering that you understood these basic three core subjects let's dig down a bit further and see what are the job openings which are available so if i write over here so i say jobs so again as we said security is divided into multiple fields you have information security you have network security you have application security as well so generally there are network security professionals so i'll say network security professionals so there are lots of jobs available uh, for network security now network security professional are those who uh, have good knowledge about networking as well as network security so what comes in network security so it deals with firewalls it deals with ips systems ids ips maybe encryption also comes into play you have wifi security as said again it is a part of network security and so many other things now there is uh, some term called as security engineer as well so i'll write security engineer ah so sorry for that so security engineer are the ones who are good in linux who also are good in networking and they also know scripting a bit now they cannot be they or they might not be as good as a network security professional as far as network security is concerned but they are something similar to all rounders who have good knowledge related to all of the fields the third uh, important field that comes into play is security analyst i like security analyst now security analysts main job is to make sure that a website is secure they do not generally deal with how secure the web server or how secure the server is and all the only job of security analyst is to make sure that the website is secure so if you are writing uh, your website or your web application in java the job of security analyst is to make sure that whatever program that is written 
is actually based on secure secure coding guidelines and that is what security analyst has to do now this is one of the reasons why security analyst needs to know programming then if if they are assessing maybe a java based application then they need to be very good in java then only you will be able to find the vulnerabilities in java related applications the third important point is i'll write it here how to start now this is one of the most important thing and lot of people make mistakes in this area lot of people just uh, the first thing that they do is they install kali linux and uh, go to website and learn few commands and they actually execute the commands the in this way if you try you will never be able to be good in security you have to start with the basics that is basics of linux and networking you have to resist a bit right resist your desire of hacking up for a while learn the basics of linux and networking and then maybe you can uh, progress your career and do hacking in your test environment so how to start maybe there are two ways in which you can actually start first is you can learn from documentation now this is a uh, very important or i would say a good way where you actually read the documentation try to understand and go ahead the problem with this kind of approach is that it will take lot of time because documentation is not small it actually is around thousands of pages so you have to have a good mentor who can actually solve your doubts so documentation is one of the things second thing or second way to start is maybe you can join some video course i will say a uh, video course or where you have an instructor who can actually teach you now as far as the uh, knowledge portal is concerned we do have video courses on the internet so we have two courses which are available one is wireless for wireless security which is called ultimate wifi hacking and security series and the second and the most latest course that we had launched is intensive ethical hacking series now these courses are specifically designed for beginners who wants to make their career into the ethical hacking arena so at knowledge portal we try to make courses for beginners who wants to make their careers so we will post the description and links to the course uh, in the below section uh, you can explore that if you are interested into these fields and the last but not the least many people ask on what certification that they should do so i'll say certification now one of the most popular certification is ceh certified ethical hacker now do remember ceh has a requirement that person who is doing ceh has a minimum experience of 3 years or equivalent in networking so if you are a beginner ceh is not something that you should start with even if you do that you will not understand anything because even i have done my ceh and it actually took me 5 or 6 months to read and study through the entire syllabus and understand things so ceh is something which i would not recommend you if you are a fresher but if you are experienced say if you have 2 years of experience in network security or information security ceh is something that you should opt for then other certification that you can try is oscp uh, which is offensive security certified professional oscp is way 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 better than ceh is concerned but ceh uh, is a broad uh, certification it actually gives you overview about application security about network security about information security oscp is not as in depth as ceh but oscp is way better because it will really test your ethical hacking skills which ceh does not so this is all about how you can uh, go ahead as a security in a security arena now if you have more questions you can actually mail me on my mail which is zilvora@live.com and this is it about this lecture i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing